Direct sunlight is required for all life on Earth. It provides health benefits from the vitamin D we receive from sunlight. It acts as a disinfectant for molds, mildews, viruses and reduces the spread of the flu. It provides photosynthesis which is needed for all plants to grow strong and healthy enough to produce food crops. And it drives the production of electrical power through solar panels. We are already reducing the amount of sunlight reaching the earth with a variety of programs and pollutants. Now a small group of scientists are working to implement geoengineering experiments to reduce more sunlight from reaching the earth. The sun has a great influence on our oceans, weather and climate. What is reducing the amount of direct sunlight reaching the earth? Toxic chemicals and particles are also being discussed by geoengineers for use in our atmosphere without any consideration for the acid rains that they will produce. More air pollution and contamination of our water resources and soils or changes in soil pH will be the result. These programs will also impact plant health, crop production and tree health being processed for usage to make clouds brighter without considering that salt makes soils unproductive and water unfit to drink or be used for crop irrigation. Geoengineering promoting scientists are aware that NASA's studies show that jets are leaving persistent jet contrails that exacerbate global warming, change our climate and have negative impacts on natural resources and we have a variety of experimental atmospheric programs that are using the atmosphere as a physics testing laboratory like HARP in Alaska, NASA and US Air Force CRESS and night clouds programs, the US Navy and NASA atmospheric care program. In addition there are experimental weather modification programs, ocean iron fertilization and other experiments that are all ongoing. Honeybees and other species depend upon UV radiation for communication and navigation purposes. In addition, with ever increasing UV radiation reaching the earth, our increasing atmospheric experiments may have already damaged those protective atmospheric layers. Prior to allowing more experimental geoengineering schemes to be deployed in our oceans and atmosphere, without public consent or oversight, we need to engage the public debate and hear from scientists from all categories, not just the ones that will benefit financially from the geoengineering schemes that they are promoting. Global engineering governance is being planned without public participation by both the US and the UK Parliament. It is time to say no to all of it until the public is fully informed of the consequences of deploying these schemes. Direct sunlight benefits all of us in so many ways. It is now time to put the brakes on these experimental geoengineering and other atmospheric experiments. The negative consequences of using our oceans or the atmosphere as a giant experimental physics laboratory may exacerbate or contribute to make our problems worse than the problems we are now experiencing and maybe our own current experiments are causing many of the problems. We also know that for many studies that a lack of direct sunlight lowers crop production when normal rainfall is present. Direct sunlight is good for all living things on the planet. It provides for life as we know it. Vitamin D, if unprovided by the sun in the amounts that are required by the body, 
can produce causes like rickets in children. Rickets is now returning to the world. Why? It's because the sun is being blocked for all human life. So let's take a look at vitamin D and see how important it is to human life. Our main source of vitamin D is that made by our own bodies. 90% of our vitamin D is made in the skin with the help of sunlight. Ultraviolet B, UVB, sunlight rays convert cholesterol in the skin into vitamin D. Darker skin need more sun to get the same amount of vitamin D as a fair-skinned person. The sunlight needed has to fall directly onto bare skin through a window is not enough. Two to three exposures of sunlight per week in the summer months, April to September, are enough to achieve healthy vitamin D levels that last through the year. Each episode should be 20 to 30 minutes to bare arms and face. A main action of vitamin D is to help calcium and phosphorus in our diet to be absorbed by the gut. So vitamin D is really important for strong bones. The calcium and phosphorus are essential for the structure and strength of our bones. In addition, vitamin D seems to be important for muscles and general health. Scientists have also found that vitamin D may also help to prevent other diseases such as cancer, diabetes and heart disease. So, in conclusion, geoengineering does not only affect crops. It is affecting the whole world. Humans, animals, soil, atmosphere and water. It is up to us to fight for this program to stop. We owe it to our children and future generations to come. Make yourself aware of these issues and do something. What will you do today?